Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me the S Pen for Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 and in this video I am going to talk about top 20 tips and tricks for using this S Pen. So let's start. The first tip is about no taking on top of videos. For example, you are having a lecture or you are watching some kind of video. Now you want to take notes related to that video. So what you can do is just press this S Pen button and tap on your screen two times like this. It will open the Samsung notes and here you can start taking your notes. But you can see this note taking app is blocking the view behind. So what you can do is just select this blue bar and then select this opacity icon and from here you can reduce the opacity. So here you can see I reduce the opacity and now you can see the video behind and in the meantime you can also take your notes. The next thing is if you want to do the screen recording of your note taking and the video you can also do it. Just uh, bring down this quick panel option and then here select this screen recorder and then here you can select this start recording and then after this countdown your screen recording will start. Now you can uh, take your notes so it will record it and it will also record the video behind. The next thing is if you want to highlight something important in the video you can use this pen icon from the screen recorder. So I just select it and now you can highlight anything in the video with your S Pen. So here you can see I can highlight anything, I can write anything. The next thing is if you want to turn on the front camera, you can also do it. So here is the front camera icon, just select it and it will turn on the front camera and here you can see this is my front camera. So your screen recording will record everything and then once you finish, you can just stop from here and everything will be saved in your gallery and later you can access it. The next tip is about screen of memo. For example, I lock my Z Fold 5 and now I am in a hurry and I want to write something important. So I will just select this S Pen button and I will tap on my screen two times like this. It will open the screen of memo and here I can write anything important. If I want to write something about some reminder or any appointment, I can write here. The next thing is once you finish, you can pin it to your always on display. So here is the pin icon. So I will just select it. Once you select it here you can see it is showing the pin to always on display. I will just select it. Now here you can see it is showing in my always on display. And if I close my Z Fold 5 it will also show it in the outer screen. So here I close it and here you can see it is showing whatever I write here. If you want to minimize this screen of memo you can also do it. So here you can see there is a minimize icon. Just selected two times like this and you can see now it is minimized and if you want to access it here is the icon for the screen of memo just select it and then it will pin it to your always on display. The next tip is about adding text from different sources into your notes. For example, I open this website and I want this text into my notes. So what I can do I just press my S Pen button and then I will select this text. So you can see I just start selecting and I will select till here. Now I want this text into my notes. So here you can see it is giving me the option of add to note. Just select it. Once you select it here you can see it will open the Samsung notes and it will add into my notes. Now if you want you can make it a full size. So I will make it full size. So here is my notes. Now here if you want you can also highlight you can also uh, write here if you want to write. You can also uh, write any text. You can edit it. And then you can see on top we have this link also available. So you can directly select this link and it will open this website. If you don't want this link, just press and hold it like this and you can delete it from here. The next tip is about handwriting to text. For example, I want to search something on Google. So here I will just use my S Pen instead of typing. So I will just select it like this and here I will start writing. So I will just write here brain anatomy. 
so you can see i use my s pen to write it and then you can see it converted into the text and then i select the search option and here it will give me the result same way if you want to write uh, any website so here on url section just select it like this and then just cut it and then use your s pen to write the name of website for example i want to open samsung dot com so here you can see it will convert it for me and then i select this go option and then it will open the website for me so instead of using the keyboard option i can use my s pen the next tip is about glass mode for example i open this website and now i want it in a glass mode i will just select this air command icon and here is the glass option so i will just select it once you select it here you can see it is available here in a very small format now for example i want to open another app i want to open samsung notes and here i want to take notes and then i want to see that website so i will just bring my pen closer to it like this and it will open the website and i can access it once i remove my pen like this it will again become very small and here i can continue with my note taking so i can use it for cross referencing and i can also use it to switch between different apps and if i want to take some important information from here i can just bring my pen closer just read it and then i can just write here in my notes so this is how you can use the glass mode the next tip is about dragging image and text from different sources into your notes so i will open uh, my samsung notes and here i will start taking my notes now what i will do is i will just take out this edge panel and then i will select this internet browser and i will open here in the split screen now here on google i search some images so for example i like this image now i want this image into my notes so what i will do i will use my s pen i will press and hold on this image like this and here you can see i can easily drag it here into my notes and i will put it over here now you can see i can change its size i can rotate it i can crop it i can do all the editing same way if you want you can also bring any text so i will just go back from here and then i will open this website and for example in this website i want this text so i will just again press and hold it like this and then i will start selecting the text so for example i will select till here now i want this text into my notes so what i will do is i will just press and hold it like this same way and then i will just drag it here into my notes so here you can see i can just bring here into my notes now here what you can do is if you want to edit it you can edit you can also highlight it if you want to write something here with your pen you can also do it the next thing is you can also bring whole web page into your notes as well for example i will open this website now i want this website into my notes so i will open a new page so i will go back and i select a new page so once you select this new page here at the bottom it is showing you the option of link and whole page so i will just select this whole page option once you select it it will start adding this whole website into your notes so it will also bring all the text all the images so if i just scroll so here is the images as well so now here you can see this whole website is now available here in my notes so it include all the text and then if we scroll down here in my notes the image is also available so same image is also available here and then if i scroll down you can see all the text is also available here in my notes now if you want you can close this website from here and then you can start editing uh, this website into your notes if you want to write something if you want to make some kind of shape and then for example i want to make this kind of shape and then if you want to write some text you can use this keyboard option and then you can also write the text so you can do all the editing here in your notes the next tip is about screen write and sharing option for example you are reading some kind of book and you want to share some information with your friends or with your colleagues you can use the screen write option so uh, you just select this air command icon and then you select this screen write option from here 
just select it once you select it it will take the screenshot now if you want to write something here you can write if you want to highlight something you can also do it and once you finish you can just select this share icon so once you select it it will show you different platforms where you can share your screenshot you can also save it so here is the download option just select it and it will save it to your phone the next step is about using your s pen for translation so for example i open this website this website is in french now i want to translate uh, some specific lines so what i can do is just select this air command icon then select this translate option and then what i have to do is i have to just bring my pen closer to the line that i want to translate for example i want to translate this sentence so i will just bring my pen closer to it like this and here you can see it is showing me the english translation of this uh, french sentence now for example i want to translate this line i will bring my pen closer and here you can see it is showing me the english translation so this is how you can use your s pen for translation the next step is about extracting text from a picture or from an image so for example i open my gallery and i will select this picture so here you can see in this picture we have some text so i want to extract it so i will just select it like this and here is the t icon just select it once you select it it will highlight all the text in this picture now you can use your s pen press and hold it on the text like this and then you can select all so once you select it then you can share this text you can also copy it for example i share and then here it will show you all the platforms where you can share this text the next tip is about signing a pdf file using your s pen so for example i open my files and here i have this pdf form so i will just select it once you select it here you can select the samsung notes pdf reader option and then select just once now here you can see in this pdf file at the bottom it is asking for my signature so what you can do is just select this edit option from here and then you can easily sign here you can also highlight anything in this pdf file if you want to draw some kind of shape you can also do it so you can do all your annotation in this pdf the next step is about using your s pen for magnify so for example i open this website and here you can see uh, the text is very small so i can use the magnify option i just select this air command icon and here is the magnify option so once you select it now what you have to do just bring your pen closer to the text and here you can see it will magnify it for you so here you can see i just bring my pen closer and this is how it will show me so you can use your s pen for this magnify option as well the next step is about writing on videos with your s pen for example i open the gallery and here i open this video now i want to write on this video i will just select this pen icon and then i select this emoji icon from here and here i can select any pen option so i just select this pen option now i want to write on this video so i can just select this live option and then i can write okay and then if i want to highlight something i can also do it so i can create different shapes as well so once you finish with your writing you can just uh, press this done option and then you can play it so this is how it looks like after you finish the next step is about ar doodle so i will just select this air command icon and then here i select this air doodle option now i can use my s pen to create ar so here you can see it is asking me to move the camera around a bit to start so i will just start it so here for example i want to highlight something uh, on this part so i will just start recording first and then i will use my s pen to highlight it like that okay and then for example if i want to write something for example i want to write here charger so i can just write here charger i can also change the pen option from here so there are different options available and then for example i want to write something over here so this will be really helpful if you want to make some kind of demo videos or you want to make some kind of presentation where you want to specify some kind of objects so you can use the ar doodle option and once you finish you can just stop from here and then if you want you can later play it 
the next step is about writing on calendar with s pen so i will open the calendar and here on top right corner you see this write option just select it once you select it you can use your s pen to write so for example i will just zoom on this 18 day and here i want to write some kind of reminder so i can write it with my s pen if you want to erase so here are different tools available you can erase as well and then if you want to put something else you can can also do it you can also change the pen option and the color options from here once you finish uh, with your writing you can just save it like this the next step is about using your s pen for drawing so you can use the pen up app so just select this air command and then select this pen up so now you can uh, draw anything there are different tools available so if you want to use different brushes and then here you can see there are different pencils options so you can select them and here at the bottom we have other tools as well for example if you want to use this paint tool if you want to erase something you can erase as well and here we have different colors options so you can customize your colors as well the next step is about air preview option for example you open the gallery and you want to have a air preview of this image so you just bring your pen closer to this image like this and and here you can see it will give a preview of this image same way you can do it for videos as well for example i have this video i will just bring my pen closer and here it will play the video in the preview format and then if you want you can also share it and you can also delete it the next step is about s pen customization so just go into the settings and then scroll down and here you see this option of advanced features so just select it once you select it here is the s pen option just select it so here you have all s pen customization option so if you want to customize the air command just select it you can change the menu style from here and you can also add or delete shortcuts from the air command if you go back we have more s pen options so we have s pen to text we have screen of memo quick notes more s pen settings so you can customize your s pen settings from here so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much